and then connect Mr. Putin to Mr. Trump. Okay, Mr. Trump is not a successful real estate developer. Okay, that never happened. Mr. Trump bankrupted six companies. He owed billions of dollars to, I think, 70 banks um, until, lo and behold, some nice Russians came and said, hey, why don't you just put your name on some buildings and we will give you money for that and we will build the buildings, which then became his business plan, which is a great business plan if you can get it, right? Like how, the, the Miss Universe pageant. How did he run the Miss Universe pageant? Um, Russians gave him $20 million and then he showed up which is a great business plan if you can do it, right? So, the, the, so a fictional Russian character comes to power and then creates a fictional American character called Mr. Trump, who once the Russians have bailed him, no, this happened. Once the Russians had bailed him out, then appeared on American television um, on Celebrity Apprentice playing a successful real estate developer, which he never was. But as a character, he was great. He could say you're fired in a really convincing way, right? So one fictional character then creates another fictional character, and that fictional character then also comes to power, right? Um, through, with the help of all kinds of fictional devices mostly delivered through the internet. So I think there really is an interesting problem of genre going on in our life. <laughs>